red and white flower resulted to white and red flower white and red cow and then it results to roan cow how did it happen hello my dear students welcome back again to my youtube channel this is me once again teacher Tim, your science teacher for today's vlog so in this lesson this is the continuation of our week three na ba? Okay, I don't know. So this is the continuation of our topic about non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance. Last time, we discussed about the incomplete dominance. So this time, we will be discussing about the co-dominance, which is another non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance. So, but before that, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 9. For today's video, we're going to discuss about the co-dominance. So, kanina, diniscuss natin ang, in, ang incomplete uh, dominance. So, this time, this is co-dominance. Ano nga ba pag sinabi natin co-dominance? Okay, so this is another type of non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance, which is it result when one allele is not dominant over the other. So, anong pagkakaiba niya sa incomplete dominance? E di ba mga kanina, yung incomplete dominance, hindi rin po nag appear yung any one of the allele. No one. Ano? No allele. Uh, no allele is being inherited by the offspring. So, ano nangyayari sa codominance? So, the resulting heterozygotes exhibits the traits of both parents. So, example. Nakikita nyo ito? Yan. Tingnan nyo yung cow. So, ang kanyang parent, ang kanyang parental uh, generation is white and red na cow. Pero ano ang naging result? Tingnan nyo yung offspring. Para siyang may dots na meron din siyang para siyang may paltak-paltak ng white at saka ng red. So, kaya ang sabi dito, the resulting heterozygotes exhibits traits of both parents. So, wala rin dominant at wala rin recessive, pero nag a sila parehas doon sa offspring. Unlike sa incomplete dominance na talagang pag sinabing neither wala talaga. Wala sa recessive, wala sa dominant, kundi nagkakaroon ng panibagong phenotype. Pero sa co-dominance, nakikita natin yung traits ng both parents dun sa offspring. Another example, tingnan yung chicken na to. White and black chicken. Pero anong nangyari? So, hindi rin siya naging gray. Pero anong nangyari niyan? Parang nagkaroon siya ng parang pattern na may, may part na black, may part na white. So, yun yung example ng co-dominance. Ano pa? May mga alaga ba kayong pusa? Di ba yung mga pusa na tatlong kulay? So, yan. Those are example of co-dominance. So, ibig sabihin, yung pusa na yun, it's either galing siya sa white na pusa, at saka yung kanyang isang parent pa is, for example, ay may orange, tapos may black. So, ang lumabas sa result, naging tatlong kulay. May white, may black, may orange na kulay. So, that is an example of co-dominance. So, another one of the example also of the co-dominance is the MN blood typings in human. So, di ba, on the surface of our red blood cells, we can found, uh, we can find the proteins bound to sugar molecules forming complexes, which we call the antigens. So, one of the group of ant antigens are co controlled by a pair of alleles, the LM and the LN. And the pairing of these alleles will determine the blood type of an individual. And there are three, there are three, sa M, sa MN, and the N. I'll show you the summary of the phenotypes and the genotypes of the MN blood typings in humans. So this is the table that shows the human MN blood types and their genotypes. So sa blood types, you can have the M, the MN, and the N. So sa genotype, we have the LM. So for the M for the blood type M, so may genotype tayo na LM and then LM. However, sa MN, so we have the genotype LM and LN. And then for the N blood type, so we have the LN and the N. Take note that in heterozygote condition, parehas nung LM at saka nung LN, both LM and LN alleles are expressed in that the red blood cells will have the antigens M 
and N. Yun yung ibig sabihin yun. Kagaya na lang, just like sa incomplete dominance, wherein the genotypic ratio in co-dominance also becomes the phenotypic ratio. Another good example of co-dominance, yung kanina nga in example ko na sa inyo, is yung Ronfar uh, in cattle. Ito. Okay. So, yan. Ano napapansin nyo dito sa cattle na to? Di ba, meron siyang part na parang may white at may part siya na parang puro red lang. So, yung uh, homozygous R, which is this one, the RR, so lahat yan ay all red hairs. And then, yung genotype na WW, all white hairs. Ngayon, kung ang genotype niya is RW, it means siya ay red and white hairs together. Unlike dun sa incomplete dominance, na kapag nag-combine, ay nagiging kulay pink. May nakita na ba yung cattle na kulay pink? So, wala, ba? Diba? So, dito ay, kaya ang itong mga cattle na to, yung sa mga pusa, sa mga hayop, so, ang kanilang uh, example ay, sila ay considered as co-dominance. Okay, so, this time, I will give you an activity about the mystery bowl. So, this, the objectives, you have to list the genotypes of the bull and the cow in the given problem and then diagram and complete a planet square and then give the phenotypic percentages of the offspring. So let us read the problem. So Mang Marcelino owns pure breed red cows. So in his farm, he noticed that after a typhoon several months ago, all the fences that separate his cattle from his neighbor's cattle were destroyed. During the time that the fences were down, Three bulls, one from each neighbor, mingled with his cows. For a while, he thought that none of the bulls found his cows. But over the months, he noticed that all of his cows are pregnant. So he suspected that one of the bulls is the father. So which bull is that? Help Mang Marcelino look for the father by solving the given problem. So this is the problem. So you have to determine the possible traits of the cubs if... So first, a red, which is RR, bull is mated with a red cow. And then another one, a red bull is mated with a white cow. And for number three, a roan cow, a roan, or a roan, yung combination na siya, which is the RW, is mated with a red cow. So we will illustrate our answers using the planet square. Okay, so gagamit ulit tayo ng Planet Square para malaman natin kung ano ba ang possible traits kapag nag-combine itong mga cow na to. So, sa first one, we have the red bull and the red cow. So, ito ang ating Planet Square. So, RR, RR. So, what do you think is the possible offspring for this? Okay, very obvious. Kitang-kita na natin. Ano? So, lahat ay magiging red. Okay, so 100% red ang magiging offspring. How about the second one? So, the red and the white. So, ano mangyayari? So, R, red, and then we have the white cow. So, what will be the possible effect? What if it is the possible offspring? Okay, obviously, it is 100% roan ang magpuproduce natin. Kapag magmimate ang red at saka ang uh, white, ano po. And then, how about if it is roan and then the other one is red so r r r w r r and then r w okay so so first cow okay yung first problem natin is red at saka red bull at saka red cow so ang naging offspring natin is 100% na red so ang second one red and saka white so 100% ito ay roan and on the other part, we have the roan and the red cow. So, ang possible effect niyan is 50% red and 50% roan. Okay, from our uh, answer from the activity, so, ang tanong, will you be able to trace the other father? Will you able to trace the father of the cubs? Of course, the answer is yes. So, what are the possible phenotypes of the cubs for each cow? So, sa problem 1, ito na nga, meron tayong red and 100% red and then second is 100% roan and on the other hand, we have 50% red and 50% roan para dun sa pangatlo. What is codominance? Again, so when we say codominance, both alleles are expressed equally in the phenotype of the heterozygote. So for example, red cows cross with white cows will have offspring that are roan cows. 
Roan refers to cows with red hair and white blood chest. So, ganun kapag co-dominance ang tatandaan nyo, ha? So, walang uh, walang recessive at walang dominant. If it is co-dominance, walang nananalo, walang natatalo. Kasi lahat ng traits ay makikita natin sa offspring. Both traits of the parents will appear on the offspring. Unlike sa incomplete dominance na talagang wala tayong nakikitang dominant or recessive, pero nagkakaroon ng panibagong phenotype. Dito sa co-dominance, no. Because both alleles are expressed equally. Pantay lang nalalabas sa offspring. Okay? Thank you for watching this vlog. This is the end of our lesson vlog. I hope to see you next time. This is me once again, Teacher Teen, your science teacher for today's vlog. So, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ito, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in science time. So, magkita-kita tayo sa susunod. And please leave your comment below. At kung may gusto kayong i-discuss na topic, ay ating-ating i-discuss yan sa ating vlog na ito. Stay tuned and salamat sa inyong pagpunta dito. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!